Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 43rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on uh, date and time values and uh, we're going to use the local time function once again and uh, this time after retrieving the values for uh, second minutes and hours uh, for the current time we are going to you know write some code to display the time in two formats. We're going to display it in military format as well as uh, the digital format. So uh, I have a script here. It's called time underscore format. And in this script on line number three, I have made a call to the local time function and I have stored the output from that function in uh, a list variable called my underscore date time. And then on line number four, I have created a variable seconds to store the value in seconds and if you remember uh, we discussed this in the last tutorial that the value for seconds is stored at the uh, first position or the zeroth index in uh, the output received from local time and then uh, minutes is at number one and uh, thus I have uh, saved the value for minutes in the variable minutes and for hours in the variable hours so you know the military format uh, basically requires you to just print these values uh, probably in the order hours, minutes and seconds but for the digital format you have to first see whether the hours uh, are greater than 12, less than 12 or equal to 12 so that's what we're going to do using if statement so we're first checking if the hours are less than 12 if that is the case then uh, you know well the value would be the value in hours so digital hours would be hours but uh, the string uh, that is going to denote whether it is uh, morning or whether it is post noon is going to take the value AM so if it's like 6 o'clock in the morning then this would be AM because 6 is less than 12 and uh, the second case as I said would be if ours is equal to 12 and that would be the case right at noon so the digital ours in that case would still be ours uh, but the string would change to PM, right? And uh, finally, the third case is if ours is greater than 12. In that case, digital ours would be ours minus 12. So if it's like, uh, uh, you know, 1600, that means it's 4 PM. So that's why you'd have to subtract 12 from six, uh, 16 to get 4. And the string would be PM. And then finally, I've got a print statement on line number 23 to display the time in military format. So as I said, for military format, we're just going to uh, push hours, minutes and seconds and probably you know just have two colons in between and uh, then on line number 24 I have a print statement to display current time in digital format and this is going to display the digital hours then minutes and seconds and it's also going to display the string which has the value AM or PM so and make sure the script is saved and I'll press F5 to run it and there we go we see that the current time in military format is 127 and the current time in digital format is 127 51 seconds a.m. right so it's about 1:30 in the morning anyway i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care